Right, we are live. Good afternoon, everybody. Thank you very much for joining me. And apologies that the countdown timer ran out and it didn't it didn't start automatically. That's because I was downstairs trying to find my cup of tea. I've just made myself a cup of tea and can't find it. So, yeah, disaster. <laughs> I'm doing a live playthrough in the afternoon and I don't have a cup of tea. Welcome to a solo playthrough of Zhang Nan Life of Gentry. This is a game from Mo Ideas. It's on Kickstarter right now. What you're seeing here is a prototype. This is not the final version of the game. This is very much a combination between the original prototype and they sent me some new files, which I've printed out myself. So if you if you think the board looks a little bit washed out, that's because I printed it out on my on my home ink jet printer. Uh, but Dimitri's here. Hi, Dimitri. Matt's here. Uh, I think Chris is here. Paul Kelly's here. James is here. Audio seems a bit tinny. It's the same audio as it was this morning. So <laughs> I've not changed anything. Um, yeah, these, these are the new microphones, but yeah, I've not changed anything. Angus is here. Mindy's here. Yeah, no tea. No, there is a cup of tea. There is a cup of tea somewhere in the house. It will be cold afterwards. Anyway, I've done a multiplayer game of this. Uh, for those of you who are regular followers of my channel, you will know that I do quite a lot of solo playthroughs, and this game has a solo mode. So because it's on Kickstarter right now, a number of people in the comments basically said, oh, when, uh, yeah, it'd be great if we can see the solo mode. And I was like, well, I have a prototype. I like solo gaming. So let's do a solo game. So this is why I'm doing this. This is basically as requested by some of the people who are back in the game uh, to see the solo mode of it. So I'm not going to explain the full rules of the game because I've already done a tutorial and playthrough. We're just going to basically explain what how, how the solo game works. But in principle, it is the same thing. We're trying to score as many points as we can. We're trying to score more than the bot. Today, the bot is the orange player. Uh, we're going to be playing the game over six rounds. That works out in the same way. I've done most of the random, excuse me, done most of the random setup for you. Uh, we start the game. Uh, the bot has 12 tiles in the bag. You'll notice the bot doesn't have a player board. So the bot does not need a player board. It needs its scholars. It needs its servants. And all 12 action tiles go in the bag. Uh, I've got all my 12 action tiles in the bag. And I'm actually going to get mine set up now. Oh, but wait a minute. Where's my... There you go. Right. So I'm going to draw my, my starting action tiles. So one, two, three, four. I've also got my money slightly to the left of my player board just because it's hard to see when it's on here on the overhead camera. Okay, so there's my four starting tiles. You also get one of two starting portfolios at random. Brenda's here as well. Hi, Brenda. It's interesting that the chat has shown up on that screen before it's shown up on that screen. Anyway, there we go. Uh, Brenda's going to be playing this primarily solo, so interested. There you go. Now, also bear in mind, as you're watching this, this is the current version of the game as it is right now. The game has not been printed yet, so they may be making some slight tweaks to the game. Um, but this is this is as it is. I mean, the whole the game's not going to fundamentally change. But there may be some tweaks made to it. I've got a couple of comments that I'm going to pass through to the developers about it. Uh, so I get to choose which one of these I want. But before doing that, Radisson's here from Canada. Excellent. you got Earl Grey, as long as it's hot. <laughs> so the big thing about the game, for those of you who don't know the game, is the way the scoring works. We are going to score at the ends of rounds two, four, and six. And we are going to score in round two. We're going to score based on the two tiles that are there. In round four, we're going to base, score based on all four of the tiles. And in round six, we're going to score based on all six of the tiles. Therefore, the tile that comes out in round one and two is going to score three times during the game. It's going to be huge. And this scoring tile, I, the reason why I have left this part to be done on the camera is because this, I think, is the most important bit about the variability in the setup. So I'm going to put these in the bag. And off we go. Now, I will explain this again. For those of you who don't know, we have six public boats at the start of the game, and each of them is going to get two tiles on them. These tiles are two-sided, so I'm going to reach into the bag, and I'm going to pick two tiles, randomly flip them over, and it's going to be that. Okay, so we have yellow books, and we have green mountains. Now, these are, again, prototype. I've coloured these in myself. The next boat is going to have uh, blue pieces of art and red drama. So no 
no matches so far. You cannot have uh, a boat with the same combination of tiles on, and you also can't have a boat with the same two things on. So we haven't had that so far. We've got money and drama. Now there's 15 tiles in this bag, and we're only going to use... Oh, that'll do. Drama. We're only going to use 12 of them. And again, we're, we're using a random side of them. So that's drama and assistance. This is very similar to the, the practice game I had this morning. Now we've got mountains and artwork. And then finally, we've got artwork and drama. Okay, so, and the reason why I did this uh, now on camera is because I wanted to actually look at the situation and to try and talk you through. I'm no expert at the game, but I want to try and talk you through my thinking about how this is going to work. So, first of all, let's just have a look at the sheer number of each type of tiles. We have drama, 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 drama. There are four drama tiles on the, on the display on the boats at the moment. If we can manipulate the majorities on these boats correctly, we might get four drama tiles over here. What that means is that publishing drama portfolios is going to be massively powerful. Now, there's none here, and I could start the game with one of them if I wanted to. Right. Books. We only have one book here. And it will, if, if it comes out, it will only come out in the last round. And it will only score four points per book. So I'm not really bothered about books. Uh, artwork. We got three of them. And in fact, two of them are here. So artwork could be really strong in this game. It could. Because we could have one tile. That tile could go there. This, this is a possibility. And that tile could go there, which means in round one of the game, we are scoring four points for every piece of artwork made. And then in round four, we're going to score more. And then round six, we're going to score more. So artwork could be very powerful. There's two here in the offer, but I don't potentially start with one. OK, mountains. We've got one here and one here. Yeah, not that bothered about them. Assistance, we've got one here. And money, we've got one here. So this is a very different game from what I had this morning. Let's also have a look at what four tiles I've started with on my player board. I've got Society, which is going to allow me to pick up another portfolio. We've got the Tea House, uh, where I can publish something or I can get some more ideas. And we've got two of the parlour icons. Now, in the practice game this morning, um, oh, the patron thing should work. Yeah, if you try it, it should work. I do have, just type in exclamation mark Patreon. Um, I, I have enabled it. Try it. See if it works. Um, yeah, in the practice game this morning, I didn't bother with assistance at all. And I'm possibly tempted not to bother with them again in this game because there is only one assistant scoring tile. So, that's the, the next decision I have to make is which of these scoring tiles do I want to keep? And I think... There are two boats with the same combination. Oh, right. Thank you. Yes, there are. There's two boats with the same combination. Thank you. And I did say you can't have that. So we have artwork and drama, artwork and drama. So we're going to flip that one over. Oh, well, that changes everything. <laughs> right. We have artwork and assistance. But, oh, and I could get an assistant in round one. I could actually do that. But in order for me to have influence on this boat... I need to go to the tavern. Now, I am going to check something in the rules. The patron thing is not working. Right, okay. I'll sort that out another time. Um, let me just check in the rules. If nobody goes on this boat, uh, then what happens is... Here we go. Draft new action tiles. Right. Uh, shift all the boats once at the right. If no player has servants on the boat, the rightmost scoring tile will be used. So if nobody goes here, it's going to be that one. Which is the one that I want it to be anyway? If I decide that I'm going to go with two assistants in this game, in round one, sorry, go to the parlour twice, which is going to get me an assistant in round one of the game, then I want that tile to come in. So, how can I make that happen? I'm basically taking a chance that my opponent doesn't go there. Oh, this is this is tricky. This is very tricky. 
Um, I'm not sure what to do. I'm really not sure. So what I'm doing right now, I haven't even taken the first turn of the game. I'm thinking of a strategy. I'm thinking, do I want to go for assistance in this game? And do I want to try and put that in? I'll have to decide. Right. Out of these two tiles, I'm having that one. That's that's a decision definitely made. Okay, Jeremy's here as well. Hi, Jeremy. Uh, oh, he's giving his prototype away. Oh, dear. Yes, the solo game. As I say, this is the solo game as it is at the moment. They may be, they may be doing some tweaks, but this is generally how it works. Okay, so turn order. In a solo game, the player always starts off as the first player in round one. That can change if the bot goes to the society area, but for now, I'm taking the first turn of the game, and my turn is played as normal. I choose which of these tiles I want to go with, and then I discard the one on the right-hand side. So, I am going to do this one. I am going to go to the parlour, and we're going to visit one of these muses. I'm going to say hello, and we're going to get some immediate benefits. So that tile gets discarded and is gone from the game, and I get a red idea. And now what we do is I'm going to choose which one of those I want. So I think I want to take this one. Uh, who I won't try and pronounce because I will probably mess it up. So what you do, the first time you visit one of the muses, you put a cube on it and you get the visiting bonus which is printed there. So I go to her, I have a nice chat for an afternoon and I get an idea to write a play. So I've got two red ideas. That That is it, that is my action done. So what happens is these move along and I get two new tiles. Does the art market cycle the same? Uh, if you mean by this, then yes, you can go there and spend a coin to cycle it. But yes, the, the, the artwork and everything else, the graphic design has all been changed and improved and it looks looks a lot nicer. Right, that is my first go done. So here's how the bot works. The bot has all 12 tiles in the bag. The bot doesn't have a player board. What you do is you simply draw a tile out of the bag. And it tells you where the bot is going to go. So the bot is going to travel. So what we do is we take one of the scholars and we put it on the travel space there. And then what it does for each of the six areas is different. I'm going to explain this one now. I'm not going to explain all. I'll explain the others as we get to them. But when the bot travels, it basically automatically reaches the end of one of the paths because it's got like a, a super jet powered skateboard, I think, something like that. Um, maybe that's not right, but you get the idea. So there are four paths here, and the first time it travels, it goes to the southwest path, and it just immediately goes to the end. Now, the bot doesn't get any bonuses, it doesn't collect ideas, doesn't do any of that. It literally just goes there. Now, what that means is it's got one mountain icon. So it's going to score at the end of the game, but also when it is choosing, if it gets the majority on a boat, it's going to choose the tile which favours it more than others. The next time it travels, it's going to go to this path, which is two mountains. The third time it travels, it'll go to here. The fourth time it travels, it goes to here. And if it ever travels after that, it just gets five money. It doesn't start with any money. So that's the bot action done. It just simply takes the tile out of the bag and puts it there. Now, that tile does not get discarded and it doesn't discard another one because the bot doesn't draft any tiles. It's back to me, my second action. I think we're going to try and go for it. And we are going to go and visit the parlour again, which discards that, which gets me a blue idea. And now I could place a cube on a different one, but I'm not going to. I'm going to place it on this one. Uh, and I get the immediate benefit, which is two red ideas. And because I've now got two cubes on it, she becomes my assistant. That goes down here, and now every time there is income, I get an extra one red idea. That gets replaced by the top one of the stack. Uh, and these two slide down, and that's my second turn. One, two. Right, now it's the bot's second turn. You're only going to take 12 turns in this game. 12 turns? No, 18 turns. Yeah, three turns around, six rounds. Okay, the bot is going to the tavern. Ah, oh. Right, okay, we might still be okay. <laughs> so the bot is going to the tavern. Uh, now, when the bot goes to the tavern, what it does is it immediately publishes the top tile from the portfolio stack. 
So it doesn't need to get it, it the bot doesn't use ideas or anything like that, it just takes a tile and it immediately publishes it. So it's, it's published a piece of artwork. Then what we do is we cycle these tiles just as you would in a multiplayer game, but you don't put any cubes on it for the bot. So there you go, that's it. The bot has published a blue piece of artwork. Now, what that means is, if we think ahead, the bot is going to get a cube on this boat, and then the bot is going to favour put that tile rather than that tile. So this actually worked out really badly for me, because if that was anything other than blue, um, no, it would have still taken that tile because the assistance is good for me. Right, so I don't think there's anything I can do about this. That tile is not going to get scored. So we need to change our plans. Right, what am I going to do? That's the bot done. Um, do we want to publish this? I mean, we could publish this. It does get us income. So I am tempted to publish this. Are we going to go to the tea house? I think we are. I think we're going to go to the tea house because I want to start getting majority on this boat. Okay, so I'm going to choose that tile to go there, which means that one gets discarded and I increase my spirits by one. And then I go to the tea house. So I don't have any servants on these tiles, which means I don't get any money. And now I can either choose to take ideas or publish. I'm going to publish this drama there. That costs two red ideas. And the immediate benefit is I get a point. Yay, I'm on one point. Um, and that's me done. Take two new tiles. And now it's the bots go. All right, where's the bot going to go? I kind of want it to go to the tavern or travelling again, because that's actually not going to hurt me. It's going to the society. Okay, so when the bot goes to the society, the first thing it does is it will seize position in turn order. Then it will publish the top portfolio from the stack. Done. There you go. It's written a book. So it's easy. If it was only that easy. Um, but yeah, that's what the bot does when it goes to that area. So you can see the, the bot is fairly easy to run. Uh, there are six different areas. What it does in the tavern, tavern and the tea house are pretty much the same. Uh, what it does here is very simple. They're all fairly simple. Loki's just joined me. Hello Loki. I'm playing Zhang Nan. Yes, I know you like the game as well. You coming up? Let's see if he wants to say hello. You gonna come up? Say hello? Come on. He always joins me at this time of day. He's learnt. You're not going to get any food. There we go. Say hello to your audience. There we go. There's Loki. Oh, right. Now you stay there. <laughs> uh, that is the end of round one. Okay, so what we do... No, you're not going that way. What we're going to do is we're going to go through the normal sequence of events at the end of the first round. And that is, first of all, we get income from stuff. So I get one red idea from my assistant. And I get some money from my play that I put on. Uh, now we move the boats. So what we do is we assign these cubes to the boats, like so. And now the rightmost boat, we work out who's got majority. So the bot has majority and it's going to choose one of these tiles which is the better for it. If it was the same, uh, then it would be at random. I say the best one for it, it takes into account me as well. So we know that I'm collecting assistance and it's got a published blue work. So it's definitely choosing that one. That goes in there. This boat is now done with. That can be finished. These are going to slide down. And now we get the first of the private boats. Now I did shuffle these before the stream, but I'm going to shuffle them again now. Just in case you think I'm cheating at all. Okay, and the first one has come out because this changes the game. Mountains. Okay. The next thing that happens is drafting. Now drafting is normally done in this order, but the bot does not draft. So basically there are six tiles that have come out at random and what I do is I just choose whichever three of them I want. Now drafting is an important part of this game because you will have noticed that whenever I chose which action I wanted to do the next tile got discarded and when I said discarded it's gone from the game. So you need to be careful that you don't lose all of your cards for one particular thing. So what is it that I want to be doing more of? Um... Yeah, this isn't particularly good for me either. <laughs> I've got majority on this boat, and it's actually no good. Um, and I'm losing out a majority on this boat, but I'm not sure, I'm not bothered about which one of those comes in. So I think I want to take that one. And I think 
I want to take that one. And I also think I want to take, hmm, I'm going to take that one as well. Right, so these are mine. The ones not chosen get discarded. And then at the end of round one, we basically get, so I've already shuffled the, all of the tiles and I've picked six at random. So these are the tiles which are available for drafting next round. Okay, and then we get our scholars back. We've done that. We've done the drafting. We've done that. We don't score anything. And now we do this. So this rotates one. Uh, we change the turn order. So because the bot went into this area last turn, the bot is now first in player order. Uh, and then we decrease spirit levels. So spirit levels is one plus another one for every um, unpublished portfolio plus another one for every assistant that you've got. So my spirits are down to three. And now we go to round two and it is the bot first. Okay, how are you finding it? For those people who are watching this video, if you are a solo gamer, what, what do you think of it so far? Again, I'm not the designer of the game, I'm just here to show you how it plays. But yeah, I'm curious to see what you think about it. Right, the bot is going to the parlour. Okay, now this didn't happen in my playthrough this morning, I don't think. Oh no, it, I, yeah it did. So when the bot goes to the parlour, it simply gets the top tile as an assistant. There you go. Nice and simple. It doesn't place cubes. It doesn't have to do anything. It just knocks on the door and says, would you like to come home and work in my place and do all of this stuff for me? But it doesn't get any of the benefits of the tile other than the scoring and if that scoring tile was to come out. It doesn't get any of the income or anything like that. Right, that's the bot done. My go. So here's the situation. I have lots of red ideas. I don't have any portfolios at the moment. I have a society tile here. So that is probably the one that I'm thinking about getting. But I just need to look at the situation because I'm currently winning this boat and the bot is unlikely to take it from me. In fact, he's not going to be able to take it from me. Even if the bot went here twice, it would get two cubes there, which means I've got this boat. So I can decide whether it's blue or green. Neither of which are any good for me at all. And both of which are good for <laughs> good for the bot. So I, I don't want to go to the tavern. Do I want to bother putting cubes on here? I'm not sure because the bot is going to end up with an extra cube on here and he's probably going to win the majority of this. And then it's probably going to choose assistance. So I need to think about that. I, I need to think it's probably going to get that. Now here, I don't really want the money one to come in. I probably want the red one to come in, but can I travel? I can't travel. Can I go to the Temple Fair? I can go to the Temple Fair. And I could influence this boat and try and put that in. So I think, I th or do I go here and get a portfolio? No, I know what I'm going to do. I am going to go to the Temple Fair and it is going to be with this tile here. So that's the tile I've chosen. This tile gets discarded. Now I need to be very careful because that's a society tile that I've discarded. These shuffle to the right. I'm going to the Temple Fair. Now, how many do I want to move it? Now, in the last game we played this morning, money was really important and money actually became one of the scoring tiles. But I don't think it's going to in this game. So I think money in this game is purely to be spent. So how far am I going to go around the track? I think... Oh, and I've just noticed there is a put a cube on a boat which is that these were randomly placed at the start of the game I could go there I could get another assistant because we know we know that the bot is going to choose this tile at the moment because that's the best we've both got one assistant but it doesn't have any red so it's going to choose that one so I could go around here and start putting a thing on. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to spend two money and we're going to go three spaces and I get all the benefits that I've passed over. So I have a red idea. I've got loads of red ideas. I get a blue idea and my spirits goes up by one. And then I've landed on this space, which allows me to take a portfolio. Unfortunately, with this space, you can't cycle the market uh, or you can't cycle the offer. When you go to the society, you can cycle the offer, but I can't. So I'm going to take the blue 
four. Okay, so that goes on there. Again, these are prototype pieces. So if you're looking at them and you're thinking, well, that's not very clear, don't worry, the graphic design hasn't been finished. Oh, it's been changed since, since I did this prototype. Right, so I've been there, I've moved around, I've done the action, I've done the thing, we're done. Let's take two tiles. That's my last two tiles from the bag. Right, the bot's second turn in round two. And it is going to the Temple Fair. Now, this one's really easy. When the bot goes to the Temple Fair, it gets five money. Done. <laughs> it doesn't have a cube, it doesn't move around here, it doesn't do any of that. It just simply gets five money. Right, how many boat tiles are there to add? There are six boat tiles here. One for each of the scoring conditions, but only five of them are actually going to come out during the game. So the first one that's come out is for mountains, so we know that there is an additional scoring boat for mountains, and that's going to influence what we do. We don't know, uh, we don't know what the other ones are going to be. Right, my go. Has that changed what I'm doing here? No, it hasn't. Do I want to go to the Temple Fair again? Well, I can't quite publish this because I don't have... Oh, I need to refresh that. Blue 3, right. Can we go to the Society? No. Could we go to the Tavern? We could, but I couldn't publish because I don't have the right portfolio. Oh, if I did that, I could move around there. I could get that again, and I could do that, and I could put a cube on a boat. Is that going to be important? I don't think it is. Oh, there's lots of clever stuff you can do here. It's really interesting, because in the last game I didn't use this at all. But in this game, I'm actually thinking of using it quite a bit. Unfortunately, I can't zoom around here to publish. Oh, sorry, I, ca I can move around here to publish, but I don't have the blue ideas to be able to publish that. What we can do is we can go here and put a cube on an assistant. Is that really what I want to do? I mean, I could also go to the tavern just to take ideas. If I go to the tavern right now, I can't publish, but I will get two blue ideas and a red idea. Which seems good, but that's an extra cube on this boat, which is a waste because I'm winning this boat. And if you have listened to my latest monthly video log, this is what I talk about in this game, is you are not simply just choosing which action you want to do this turn. You are thinking of which boat is that going to get me a cube on, and therefore am I going to be able to influence the majorities, choose the scoring tile and, and everything else. And you can actually be thinking ahead to next turn as well, because these boats are all going to move along one, so you might think, oh well, if I want influence on this boat, if I travel next turn, that boat will be here. Yeah, there's quite a lot of depth to it. Um, this is my fourth game of it, or fourth or fifth game of it, so I'm starting to see quite a bit of that depth. Meanwhile, back at the decision process, the other option is I could travel. Now, just having a look at this, if I was to travel to here, that would give me a blue idea, and it would allow me to pick up another portfolio, and then on my next round, I could publish. Yes, we're doing it. That's what we're going to do. I am going to travel because I want to get a cube on this boat. Yeah, I really want to get a cube on this boat. So that disappears and I get a yellow idea. And I'm going to travel. So this is the first time I'm traveling and I'm going to travel. Oh, uh, where am I going to travel to? Uh, I'm going to travel there, which cost me one money. I get a blue idea, which means I've now got the four blue ideas that I need, and I get to take another one of those. Now then, ah, do I take another blue one? Because there are points in this game for having sets of um, all three different types of portfolio published. But we know that blue scoring, blue is far better in terms of tiles, because blue's going to score and then I'm probably going to choose blue again. Oh, it's a tricky one. It's going to be it's going to be blue. I think I'm choosing blue again. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to choose blue. This might not work. 
hang on a minute, hang on a minute. Out of these two, I kind of want to choose red. No, it's going to be blue. I don't, I don't know if this is the right decision or not. What would you do? <laughs> what would Chuck Norris do? Oh, now the red one comes out. Yeah, you've got to think about the long game. Absolutely. And if you saw my multiplayer game that I did of this, right from the first turn, I thought about the long game. And I really went for a very focused strategy. And I made sure I got three mountains in here. And I ended up with all eight mountains. And uh, spoiler, I won by a long way. So yeah, you, the long game, as Jeremy says, is definitely something you have to think about. Okay. That was my second turn. It is now the bolt's last turn of round two. Am I happy with what I've just done? I don't know. Right, the bot is going to the society. So the first thing it does is it claims first order, first position in turn order, which is what it did, and it's then publishing. It's another blue one. So it's published two blue works already. Right, my last action, it's either the tavern or the tavern. So I'm going to the tavern. And I'm going to get rid of that tile, which increases my spirits by one. Now, when you go to the tavern, tavern costs money to, a, to go into the tavern, obviously. You can't go there if you don't have the money. That increases my spirits by another one. I can then either publish or I can take ideas. I'm going to publish. I'm going to spend four blue ideas and we're going to publish that. Now, blue ones have an immediate benefit. Three money and four points. Um, oh, and that should be there. Right, we're all done. So round two is over. We're now going to go through the upkeep. So first of all, uh, drama, books and assistance score. Um, so I've got a drama, I've got a published drama, that gets me one money. And my assistant gets me one red idea. I'm all out of red ideas. There we go. Uh, then we do the boats. So I get another cube on here, which is not needed at all. Then yellow gets a cube on there. I get a cube on here. I get a cube on here bot gets a cube on there and the bot gets a cube on there. So that's all the cubes done and now we score this boat. Who's got majority? Me! So which of those do I want? This is, this is actually quite difficult because both of these two tiles, blue and green, right now are better for my opponent. I'm using the basic set. Yes. Oh yeah, it has to be said I'm using the basic setup of this game because there's also uh, extra stuff in there, there's like a campaign, these boards change and things like that. I'm just using the very basic game. Right. I, I gotta think long term. I've gotta think I need to be getting more blue. Because I, th I also think that my opponent is going to be traveling more than me. Although there are two travel tiles up there. <sighs> yeah, this might be the wrong thing to do, but I'm going to put the blue tile in. Okay, again, if you know the game, let me know if you think that was a bad idea. Let's get the scholars back. The boats are going to go down. And let's see what the next private boat is. It's the one that scores for drama. Okay, right. Has that changed the way I approach things? No. Drafting tiles. I get to take three of these tiles. I'm going to take... I'm going to take assistance. I'm going to take... Society. And I'm going to take travel. Those disappear. And now what we do is we do the first of the scoring rounds. So we need six new tiles for the next draft. And now it's two points for each of the tiles on display for each one that you have. So because there's two blue tiles, that's effectively four points for each published portfolio, which is blue. So my opponent is gonna get eight points and I'm going to get four. Okay. Did I do the income from this? I think I did the income from this. Yes, I did the income from this. Right, so we've done that. 
we now do this, which means that rotates another one, and we decrease the spirits level, which for me is three. One normally, one because I've got an unpublished portfolio, so I've been thinking about it, uh, and one because of my assistant. Right. Now, at the end of round two, these tiles which I've drafted, these are going to go back into my bag, and I'm going to get four new ones, and the bot is going to put these six tiles back in its bag. So even though it still has six tiles in the bag, those six are going to go back in and get shuffled up again. Right, here we go. Round three, and who's going first? It is the bots going first. Let's sort my tiles out. Right, what's the bot going to do on round three? It's going to go to the tea shop. So it goes to the tea shop. So what the bot does at the tea shop is simply publish the top portfolio from the stack. Oh, it's another blue one. <laughs> okay, this is not going to go as well as this morning did. Uh, and then what we do is we cycle these around as normal, but it doesn't get to put a cube on there. In fact, did I forget to do something here? Yeah, I forgot to do something, didn't I? I went to the tavern and I published. In fact, I've published twice. So there is something that I've forgotten to do. We're going to just fix this quickly because I did forget to do it. Has anybody in the chat spotted it? No, I don't think anybody has. But when I went to the tavern, because I'm pretty sure that's the last action I did, is I published this blue portfolio. What that should have done is it should have cycled these around and I should have put a servant on there. Now, if anybody can remind me where I went to when I published the red portfolio, I will fix that as well. But I definitely forgot to do that when I published that one. Um, so that's my opponent done. Right, my go. What are we going to do now? Well, this is the boat that's going to be scored this round and it's going to score for assistance because we've got one each and the red tile is better for me. Now, the chance of me influencing that away from assistance, that's not going to happen. So I think I want to go and speak to one of these muses or get another assistant. Okay, which one do we want to go and speak to? Um, what other things going to get me? Well, I think we need this one. I can't remember what the ability of Jai Kring is. Uh, it's spend a coin in the upkeep to publish a portfolio. Yeah, right, we're going to go with that one. So I get an immediate red and blue idea. So many red ideas, it's crazy. Um, oh, there's also this. I, I should have spent a coin to increase my spirits by one. I think I might have forgotten to do that earlier on as well. Yes, apologies for that. I think I missed I missed doing that a couple of times um, in the previous previous two rounds. Yeah, that's me cheating accidentally. So, is that it? Is that my action done? That is my action done. If you did spot that in the chat and you pointed it out to me, then apologies. I missed it. My drama was published at the tea house, so it should be between the current blue and red one. Right, thank you. So we can fix that. We can put that there. We can put that there. There you go. All fixed. Thanks very much, David. Right, that's going on there. That's going on there. I didn't make any mistakes in the playthrough this morning, but of course, with this one being public live, a lot more nervous. You know how it is. You make these mistakes. That should be there. Let's slow down and play it correctly. Right, so my opponent. Turn two. It's going to the tea house again. So that goes there. And again, it's going to publish it's yellow, so it's published a yellow one, which means these cycle round, and it goes there. That's it. The the AI bot is <laughs> is a lot easier than my turn. Right, what are we going to do now? We could go and get another assistant. If we did that, it would still. Oh no, no, it, that's interesting. If we did get another assistant, then I would have two assistants. And it wouldn't have any red drama, which means I think it would be random. 
Let me just check the scoring on that. I'm going to just check the solo rules because this is important. When the bot wins the majority on a boat tile and gets to choose a trend, it will choose the trend that gives it a higher point lead than the human player. Okay, so this is what I'm saying. Right now, we've both got one assistant, but I've got one drama, which means the bot is going to choose the assistant scoring tile. However, if I get a second assistant, then actually both of those tiles will be exactly the same point value difference. Therefore, it, it will choose randomly. So, ah, it's something I need to consider. Or we could just go travelling. Now, if we go travelling, oh, <laughs> if we go travelling, I could end up here, which uses the current ability of the shop that's pointed to, which is that one, which allows me to place a cube on an assistant. Oh boy. Right, okay. Actually, that's quite good. So, I could go travelling. That's quite nice. Can we publish? We can't publish. No, if I go to, if, so if I go to the tavern or the tea house, I don't have three blue ideas. I only have two blue ideas. Oh, I was going to go really into red. That's why I bought this. I need some red portfolios. How do I get some red portfolios? None of these are getting me red portfolios. Oh, this is rubbish. Um, there's very little point in trying to compete for this one. I'm winning this one, but right now I want I don't want the blue to come in. Oh no. I can feel this is going horribly, horribly wrong. I kind of don't want to travel because that's a good tile, but... Oh, I know what I can do. Uh, I could go to the tavern, but then the cube is wasted. I'm thinking I go to the tavern and I actually just take ideas and I get three blue ideas. That seems pretty good because I'm going to need lots of blue ideas if I'm going to be publishing lots of blue portfolios. But it's a wasted cube. That's the problem. Oh, tricky, tricky choices. I think we're going to do it. I think we're going to do it. We're going to go to the tavern, uh, which means this gets discarded. I get a coin and I get my spirits increases. And then I, first of all, I have to spend a coin to increase my spirits. And then I get one point for every servant I have currently in here, which is one. Yay, a point. Uh, if you travel, won't the tile be discarded? Yeah, if, yeah, you're right. If I travelled, the tavern tile would be discarded. So I did it the other way around. Um, so we've done that. And now I'm just going to take three blue ideas because I can't publish. So one, two, three. There you go. Loads and loads of blue ideas. That's me done. Right. It is now the bot's last action for round three. And then we're halfway through the game. Wow. Where's it going? It's going to the tavern does love it in the tavern. So it publishes. Please don't be blue. Please don't be blue. It's red. Okay, so it's published a red. So drama. That goes there. That goes there. Done. My go. Oh, I forgot to replenish my tiles. So we've got tea house or parlour or travel or society. Okay, so... This is my last turn in this round. If I get this assistant, then in the income step, in the upkeep step, I can pay a money to publish a portfolio. That's really good. So I'm tempted by this one. Because that's, a, that's like a free action then every time, and I don't need to publish now. Because there's no point in me going to the tea house to get control of this. I'm okay with control of this. If I go there, it's going to choose the red one. And it's not going to choose the assistant one, which means the assistant one is not going to be scoring at all. Right now, it's going to pick randomly. 
At the moment, we've both got one assistant and we've both got one red drama, which means it's going to choose randomly which one of those two it goes for. And if I'm lucky, it picks that one. Oh. Now, if I travel, what's traveling going to get me? Traveling's going to get me a cube on an assistant. It's going to get me a blue idea. It's not going to get me much. It's not going to get me much at all. This is tricky. So yeah, if I if I do go here and put a cube on that, then I will get another assistant, which means it's going to choose that. I don't think I want that. No, so I'm not going to do that. Let's rule things out. I'm not going to do that. Am I going to go to the tea shop? I could go to the tea shop in order to publish, but in terms of majority, that's not going to get me anything. Or I could travel. I'm already winning this anyway. Travelling would get me that, which could be that. Or I could go to the society. Society will allow me to steal position in turn order, and it will get me on this. That's what we're going to do. We're going to go to the society. So I'm going to steal first place in turn order. We discard that tile and get a yellow idea. Uh, and do I want to cycle the offer? I do not want to cycle the offer. Do I want to take two of these? Well, I definitely want to take one. The question now is, do I take another one and completely screw myself up with the regarding the spirits? Um, yeah, because that would. That would completely mess me up regarding the spirits. I think you replenish it, um, but I'm probably just going to take another idea. What are we going to take? Let's take another blue idea. Yeah, I'd, I'd be tempted to take two portfolios, but if I did that, this spirits would be greatly decreased for next turn. And you, if it ever goes to zero, you have to do a mandatory rest and you lose an action next turn. It's not game over, but it's quite, it's quite hard. We're done. End of round three. So we score. I get one money from my published drama. I get one red idea from my assistant. Um, we then do the boats. So I get a cube on there, and on there, and on there, and it gets one on there, and two on there. Right, so this boat here. I think I've understood this correctly. I'm just checking the chat. Nobody said anything otherwise. So yes, assistants, we've both got one assistant. Drama, we've both got one drama. So it's going to pick one of these two at random. Okay, I'm shuffling them behind my back. But actually, I'm probably just going to choose a cube because I'm sure. I'm, well, no, I'm shuffling them, and I've, I've shuffled them enough times now. Okay, so first person in the chat to say right or left, my right hand or my left hand. I will take the first answer. So if you're watching this live, put left or right in the chat, and I will take the first one. Which one's it going to be? There's an eight second lag on the chat, so I will um, <laughs> I'll wait for the first first message to appear. Right, says Potato Stew. It's chosen drama, and the red ink has rubbed off. That wasn't the right answer, Potato Stew. But thank you for thank you for choosing. Okay, so that's the drama tile that's been chosen, and now we move the rest of the boats along. That's interesting because that's going to change. I think is that going to change what I do? It might do. It might not. Okay, we've got another boat. It's the assistant boat. Aha! Now that does change things. <laughs> I want to get on that boat as soon as I can. Right, we've done the boats. We did the upkeep. We did the income. We take our scholars back. Well, we do drafting and take our scholars back. See, drafting is normally done in that order, but as I say, in the solo game, you just take three new tiles. Okay, what are we going to take here? We need, uh, I'm looking at what tiles I've removed. I definitely want that one. And I definitely want that one. And I definitely want that one. So they are my three new tiles. Those disappear. We are now going to get the final tiles because you don't draft in round, you don't draft in rounds five and six. 
Okay, so those tiles are on. And now we get rid of the age one portfolio tiles and we bring in the new ones. So we've got four of these. These were shuffled. Okay, and then we get the rest of them stacked up here. Okay, right, we're on to round four, I believe. Yeah, round four. Now, I stole position in turn order. Uh, we need to do the, um, the spirit strike, and this needs to rotate round. So I lose one, two, three, four. That's dangerously low, but there's plenty of ways I can get it back up again. So it's my turn first. Right, where are we going to go? Oh, this really has changed things with that coming out. I need to be publishing. I absolutely need to be publishing and I want to be publishing red because ah, this is where I'm going to come good I think because of that tile and that tile. So I can't publish on any of these tiles. <laughs> oh dear. Okay I'm going to the parlour. That disappears I get a yellow idea. I go to the parlour we spend some money and I'm going to put a cube on there, which means I get a red idea and a blue idea. Got so many red ideas. Okay, and then because there's two cubes on it, I now have a new assistant. And that assistant is going to allow me to publish every time there's upkeep. Okay, right. That is my action done. Am I happy with that? I think I'm happy with that. We need to get in on this. We definitely need to get in on that. Okay. Right, we're in the second half of the game now. Points are still close, but as Jeremy says earlier on, it's all about the long game, and the next scoring is going to be big. So my opponent is going to the Temple Fair, which is very easy. That goes there, gets five money, done. My go. I'm worried about this. If I don't do something about this spirit track, um, I'm going to be forced to have a mandatory rest next turn. Again, that's not unbelievably bad, but I do want to try and avoid it if I can. And I can get the spirits up in a number of different ways, like going to the tavern. Is the tavern on here? No. I could go here again. Oh, there's the temple fair. The Temple Fair, there's a three spirit increase. That's nice. That That is nice. Which then removes that, which also gets my spirits up. Ooh. Okay. I definitely need to publish red. And this is red, by the way, just the ink rubbed off. <laughs> that is definitely red. I get one spirit for visiting the parlour. Did I not do that? I thought I did that. Well, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure I spent the coin. Maybe I didn't move the spirit. Let me know if that's right. I, I, I think I spent the coin, but let me know if I didn't. Because I was on six and it went down by one, two, three, four. Two, three, four. Yeah. Okay. <sighs> is it going to be Temple Fair? Is it, is it going to be Temple Fair traveling? Or is it going to be Temple Fair cube on a boat? Or is it going to be visiting the parlor again? Oh, it's correct now. Excellent. Right. No, I think I'm going to go to the Temple Fair. Although, no, because the Temple Fair, I'm not bothered about this. This is a rubbish boat to be on. I could go to the tea shop. I'm going to the tea shop. I'm going to the tea shop. I'm getting rid of that, which gets me yet another red idea. <laughs> I've got so many ideas of all these plays that I want to write. Um, I get one coin because I've got one servant there. And then I'm going to publish. And we are going to publish this, this red drama. 
because I am going to be able to publish the blue one as well. So the red one's getting published. Um, that costs me three red ideas. Bargain. I get two points immediately. And I'll get some money as income. Okay. And then that slides along to there. Okay. That's my action done. Now it is the bot. The bot is going to the parlour. So the bot goes to the parlour. Um, and it basically gets another assistant. There you go. Now I've got two assistants. Stack them up because it doesn't get any benefit for them. Right, my last action. Yeah, last action of round four. It is either the parlour to go and see an assistant or the temple fair. Um, well, neither of these are any good for the thing that I actually want to do. But I do need to get my spirits up. So I could... No, we're going to the temple fair. Yes, we're going to the Temple Fair, which discards this, which gets me one spirits and a money. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to move. I'm going to spend two money to move three spaces and we're going to go one, two, three. So that gets me a blue idea, a red idea and the spirits because, you know, I don't have enough red ideas. And I've landed on this space. Now, this space allows me to put a servant on any boat I want to. And this space is really powerful because you can really mix things up here and change things around. But as it is, I probably just want to go on here because that steals the first space. Okay, we're done. Is that right? Yeah, I think that's right. Okay, so my opponent is going to the tavern. So it goes to the tavern, publishes this. Oh, it's another blue one. Wow. <laughs> uh, which means that cycled round and that cycled round there and that cycled round there. Okay, we're done. That is the end of round four. So let's do some income. I get a red idea. I can spend one coin to publish, which I will. I'll publish that, which gets me two money and four points. Okay, and that's my assistance and my drama all done. Did I get the two coins from this? I can't remember. Let, let me know if I took the two coins from this. My memory's terrible today. Um, but then we draft. Oh, we, we move the boats along. Yes, so that goes on there. That goes on there, that goes on there, that goes on there, that goes on there. Some extreme majorities here. So this one is my choice. Well, I'm going to put the red one in. So that's going to go in there. That's that boat done. These all slide down. And we get the next private boat tile. I didn't get the two coins income. Thank you, Paul. Didn't think I did, but as I say, my memory's terrible. So we got coin, uh, points for money at the end of the game, if anybody's on this boat. And now we do the final draft. Huh. Taking those three for reasons. That is it. No more drafting now for the rest of the game. So we've done the drafting. We take our scholars back. And now we do the scoring. So now, it, this is actually really simple. There's two blue ones and two red ones. So it's it's three points per scoring tile. So we're looking at six points per blue and six points per red. I have one, two, three, four. So that's 24 points, putting me on 40. And my opponent has one, two, three, four, five, um, which is 30 points. 38. Very close. Yeah, so the scoring is actually really simple just because of the way the tiles have come out. So we rotate that, uh, we change the turn order, but nobody went there for turn order. I lose one, two, three on the spirits track, and then all of these tiles go back in, and that is it. We are two thirds of the way through the game. So just before we move into the final third of the game, I, I would ask 
if you are watching this live obviously thank you very much for watching but if you're watching this back afterwards please give the video a thumbs up in fact you can give the th thumb video a thumbs up if you're watching it live um, but please leave me a comment on the video if you found it useful because those comments really do help uh, the YouTube algorithm um, and help the video get more more people seeing it but also I'm doing this because I want to I want to show you what the solo mode is like to help you make a decision about whether it's the the kind of game for you um, obviously thanks to Mo Ideas for supporting the channel and asking me to create the video but a big thank you as well to all of my patron supporters you'll see at the bottom we're on a countdown to 800 and we are one person to go so if you like the content that I create and you want to help support the channel directly to help me make more videos, um, you can do so by supporting me at patreon.com forward slash gaming rules. Even just $1 a month really helps. Um, and yeah, if you are able to support me, you could be the 800, 800th supporter. Right, where are we up to? Round five. I think we've done everything else. So I'm picking four new tiles out of the bag. One, two, three four and am I worried about my spirits being at two yes I need to do something about that this turn okay right so where are we going to go what what's my plan what's my plan I I'm currently winning majority on this boat I'm going to try and get red in and I want to get another red portfolio and there is a red portfolio there, and I want it. And can I get it? No, because I don't have a society tile on my board. Now, there is a way that I can get that society tile by going here, and I have the money. So that's what we're doing. We are going to the Temple Fair. I'm going there. This gets discarded. I get one money and one spirit, which is good. I'm then going to pay two money to go three spaces round and it's going to be this way again so I get a red a blue and a spirit um, that goes there and the ability of this is to take a portfolio and I'm going to take that one okay and that is my go done right next up is the bot the bot is traveling so this is the second time the bot has traveled it basically gets there and that's it it's done right my go i forgot to slide my tiles down this is round five isn't it yeah if i can just get lots more red drama published and majority on here i think it's looking good my opponent is getting nine points for this, though, at the end of the game. That's what I need to be worried about. Where did that other tile go? Okay, so. How am I going to get more red drama? Well, I need to publish... I need to take that one. I can do that by travelling to there. Oh, I've just got assistance. I've got too much here on the parlour. I did, I did too much. <laughs> um, now, I am going to get to publish at the end of the round, so that's quite good. Tea shop. If I go to the tea shop and I publish, that'll get me another cube on there. Yes, we're going to go to the tea shop. That goes in there. This gets discarded. I get some more spirits and another money. These slide to the right. And what do we do with the tea shop? First of all, I get a money because of that. And then I'm going to publish. So I'm going to publish this for five red ideas. One, two, three, four, five. Five red ideas. Um, the immediate bonus of that is four points. Okay, and then that slides another red thing into there. Okay, so that's me done at the tea shop. I have four turns left in the in the entire game. Ah, there it is. Society board. Finally comes out the society action. Right, the bot. The bot is going to the society. <laughs> right, so it obviously heard me talking about it. Um, it seizes first place for next round, for the last round, and it publishes red. Can you see all of that? Yeah, you can see all of that. 
and that's it done. Right, so my last action of round five is I've got to go there and I've got to take it. Yes, we're going to the society. We are going to, um, let's do this right. I discard that, gain one spirits. Then I get second position in turn order. I don't want to cycle them. So I'm going to take the five and the five. I'm going to take the blue five and the red five. Well, no, I'm going to take the red five first. And I think it does refresh. I forgot to place my cube on the tea house. Oh, I did. Thank you. Let me just check the current rules, because I think when you take two tiles at the um, at the society action, you replace it first. I just want to check that. No, no, you refill after you've taken them. OK, so I am going to take the other five. It's a little bit risky, but I'm, I think it'll be all right. I think it'll be OK. Right. So they've come in, I've gone there. That is it for me for round five. The bot is going to the temple fair, which is on there, five coins. Right, so let's do income at the end of round five. I get one, two, three, four money. I get a red idea and I can spend one money to publish, which I will. So I spend the money. Now, what am I going to publish? I'm going to publish that one. So I publish that one, which costs me five red ideas. Two, three, four, five. Which means I immediately get the two money for that as well. Okay, so I've done all of my income. Right, boats. Look at this. It really wants that, doesn't it? That goes in there, that goes in there. Now, unfortunately, it sneaked into there before me. But we can do something about that next turn, hopefully. And now we score the majority on this boat, and I'm obviously choosing red. Wow, this has been a very odd game. Two blue, three red. Other scoring tiles are available, just so you know. Yeah, very different from all of the other games that I've played of this. Should have put those tiles on there. Right. Um, so we've done that. We move the boats along. And we get the final scoring tile, and it is for blue. That's going to be a lot of points for whichever player gets it. Oh. Right, okay, we've done that. We don't draft, we take the workers back, we don't score, but we rotate that for the last time. Turn order changes for the last time. And then we reduce the spirit strike, which is just one, two, three, four. So I'm okay. I managed to avoid it. Did I miss the immediate points from the published drama? Oh, I did. Yes, I should have got four points as well for publishing that. Thank you. Up to 48. Okay, so we're going into the last round of the game. And it is the bot first. So the bot's going first. Yeah, I was rushing to get the money. Typical, typical Paul. Sees the money. Right. Parlour. Bot is going to the parlour because it doesn't have enough cubes on this card. <laughs> and it takes a third assistant. Okay, there you go. Right, my go. So absolutely critical now. I've got that. I'm happy with that. I've got that. I'm happy with that. I'm going to get a free publish. There's no point in competing with this. I'm not really bothered about this. I mean, it's going to take the green tile. It's absolutely going to score the green tile because that green tile is worth 12 points to it and none to me. And then it's going to get another nine points for that. Boy, I want to get this. I want to get on here before it does. But I don't have a... Ah. And I can't go to the Temple Fair to put a cube on a boat. Oh, it's all gone wrong. All I've got is assistance. Right, I need to I need to be having a think about this. I've got an assistant tile here. I've got a tavern and an assistant tile, but there's no point going to the tavern. I'm just going to look at the last two tiles in my bag. They are both society tiles. Brilliant. Where were you when I needed you? So I know that I can go to the society 
next turn. In fact, do I have enough ideas? I need more ideas. There was a, there was a pun there. Um, I've got six. <clears throat> That's enough to publish this. It isn't enough to publish another one, but I want to go here to get on there. I could just go here twice just to take ideas, just to get two cubes on it. Because I don't want my opponent to score three points for each. This is going to be close. I think this is going to be close. Hmm. Okay. So. We could travel. Travelling is an option. If I was to travel, I'd spend some money, I'd go here, and I'd use that which is a cube on a assistant, which could get me a third assistant, which is going to get me three extra points at the end of the game. Um, but nothing else. Yeah, okay. This is tricky. I'm having to think a lot more in this game than I did in the last game. Because the last game just went quite swimmingly for me, but this is more of a challenge. Um, if I can travel twice, I can get two mountains. No, the mountains for me is not... Oh no, mountains is worth a couple of points each, but no, there's no scoring tile for mountains. The only reason for me travelling would be if there was a bonus on the space that would be useful for me, and there isn't. Gosh. Do we just go for the parlour twice and get another assistant? How is that going to help me? It's not really. No, it's not. The other option is that I could try and compete for this boat and make sure that the yellow gets in instead of the green, but it's got two yellow. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, but it's got two yellow, it's got three green. Eh. I think we're going to do it. I'm going to choose that tile, I'm going to go to the tavern. That one gets discarded, I get a blue idea. Right, in the tavern I spend the money to increase my spirits, and I am then going to publish. I spend five blue ideas, one, two, three, four, five. I publish this, I get an immediate five points, putting me up to 53. And I get an immediate four money. Okay, so taking up a lot of space here. Can you see what I've got? Yeah, in fact, let's just move this along a bit. Okay, did that, did that, did that. What have I just published? Blue, which means that comes off and slides. Oh, I should have got one point as well because there was one of my cubes already in there. One point. Right. Done. Okay, so the bot's penultimate turn. Here we go. It's going to the parlour. <laughs> Look at this. It gets another assistant. Four assistants. Wow. I bet it wished it put the assistant scoring tile in. Um, I've got my two society tiles. So... I'm definitely going to one of the societies, and it's going to be, doesn't matter, that one. Which means that gets discarded and I get a red idea. I'm going here, uh, and I'm going to seize position into an order, <laughs> which is irrelevant. I'm not going to cycle. No, I'm not going to cycle. And I'm going to take... One and an idea, I think. And it's going to have to be the yellow one, because it's the only one that I can publish. I mean, it does get me a set. <clears throat> but it's not going to get me extra points, because that is definitely going to be coming in as green. The other option is that I take the blue. 
but then how am I going to get a blue idea? Oh, I can go here. But, th yes, I go here, discard that, that gets me a blue idea, which is three. Then I go to the parlour and visit this lady to get another one, which would be four. And on the, then on the publishing, I can publish... Yes, so I can just do it. Just do it. So we are going to society again. Which means that gets discarded and I get red. And I'm not going to cycle them. And I think if I've worked this out correctly... Hang on. No, I wanted to do it the other way around, didn't I? No, I needed to go to the society. So it's red. Yeah, it's not quite right. I'm thinking I've got one more turn after this, and I don't. This is my last turn. Yeah, for some reason, I'm, I'm thinking that I'm getting to do two actions. Let me just hang on a minute. I need to just... Yeah, did I finish my first society action? Have I have I got myself all messed up because I'm I've, uh, I've got myself confused. Yeah, no, that that that's where we are. I need to rewind. I mean I'm in the middle of doing my first society action. Sorry, I had a, I had a complete brain failure then for a minute. So I think those are on my board. And I think I'm now doing my first society action. And I'm deciding what to take. And then suddenly my brain, my brain skipped ahead to my next turn. Right. So I think, I think we've reset it. We're all good. <laughs> I just had a complete, complete brain failure then for a minute. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm thinking about what I'm going to do on the next turn. And on the next turn, I'm going to use... Yeah, I'm going to use that tile on the next turn, which means I'm going to get a blue idea next turn, which means I'll have three. And that tile is going to get me another blue one, which is going to be four, which means I can take the five. That, that's what I'm working out. I can take, I'm going to take one portfolio and one idea. I think I can do that. Okay, that gets replenished. And now it is the bot's last action. <clears throat> so, the last action the bot is going to take on its turn is... Please don't be the tea shop. Oh, it doesn't matter. It's, it's already won the tea shop. It's the tavern. Oh, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. It's going to the tavern. It publishes this one. It's another yellow one, which means that cycles round and a yellow one comes in. Right, the bot is done. The bot needs to go after first society. Yes, so the bot, the bot is now finished. That is it. All done. It is now my turn. And if we think we've worked it out correctly... That is getting discarded for that. I am doing the... Well, I'm either doing the parlour action or the travel action. I might as well do the travel action. So I do the travel action. Uh, and I'm going to spend two coins. In fact, what is it that I want to do? Yeah, this isn't actually going to help me much at all, but I'm doing it anyway. Yeah, I spend two coins and I move to here, which gets me a blue idea. I get another idea of my choice. <laughs> uh, I'll take another red one. Uh, and I get to use the ability that that's pointing to, which is a cube. Oh no, which is the travel action without getting the bonus. Oh, that's perfect. 
So that's there. Yes, I've got a couple of mountains. Take some photos, stick them on Instagram. Yeah, that's the travel action without spending money and without getting a thing. So we're good. We are we are good. And that, I think is my go dumb. Yeah. <sighs> right. Inc upkeep and income for the final round of the game. I get one red idea for this. I then spend one coin to publish this, which costs five ideas, which gets me an immediate five points and an immediate four money. Okay, right. Now we do the boats. So I get a cube on there. Uh, then it gets a cube. Then it gets two cubes on there. Have you ever seen that many cubes on a boat? I have not. That's seven cubes on a boat. But importantly, I got that one. Right, and now we do majority. So let's work this out. My opponent has three mountain tiles. Sorry, three mountain icons. And it has three yellow books. So for it, it's the same. For me, I have two mountain icons and I have no yellow books. So therefore, it's going to choose yellow as the final scoring card. Who would have thunk it? Right, we don't need to cycle the rest down um, because these are the final ones. The final boat technically probably should come out, but you'd never have a chance to score it. We don't draft. We don't bother taking the scholars back. So it is now just final scoring. So basically, it's four points now. So blue tiles are worth eight points each. Red tiles are worth 12 points each. And yellow tiles are worth four points each. And that's it. It's just really simple. So let's do that. Blue tiles, eight points each. One, two, three, four. 32 points. 32 onto 38 is 70. Okay. And for me, I've got exactly the same. So I get 32 as well. So 32 onto 9 is 41. Right, that's the blue tile scored. Next, the red tiles are worth 12 points each. I have four of them. That's 48 points. So I'm just going to knock two off and give me another 50. My opponent only has two of them. So that's 24 points. It goes up to 44. Uh, and yellow tiles are worth four points each. 12. Um, so six plus another six. Okay, so that's the points currently after those have been scored. Now what we do is we do end game scoring, starting off with the private boats. So my opponent has the majority on this boat, and that's three points per mountain icon. It has three mountain icons. It gets nine points. I have the majority here. I get three points per drama. I have four dramas. I get 12 points. That goes there, and that goes there. Next is this one. I get three points per assistant, or two assistants. Uh, next one is this one. My opponent gets three points for every five money. It has 15 money, so it gets nine. And then finally, I get three points for every published blue portfolio, which is 12. Nice. I'm feeling a bit more confident now. We will see. Sets of published portfolios. My opponent has two full sets. That's eight points. I have none. It's the first time I've ever played it that I don't have a set. Assistants, three points each. I've got two of them for six. My opponent has four of them uh, for 12. Next, mountain icons. I've got two for four points. My opponent has three for six points. Uh, and then finally, points for leftover ideas. I've got one, two, three. My opponent doesn't have any because the opponent doesn't use ideas. I think we are done. If I've got the final scoring right, if David is still watching, yeah, managed to come good in the end. I was a little bit worried there, but I think if I've done the scoring right, I'm on 182, and my opponent is on a, a nice round 150. Um, but it was getting, it was getting these few at the end, and making sure that I had four red portfolios and three red scoring tiles in there. Um, and if you've watched some of my other videos, I know if you're a patron supporter of mine, you've seen me play this a few times, um, uh, yeah, not in a public stream, and it does play differently every every time I've played. It plays very differently because the majority is on the boats, and I think it works well as a solo game. Um, it's similar to the two-player game in that you, you've just got two players competing for the boats. Um, and what was it I did on the channel? I think it was a three-player playthrough. 
there was a lot more competition for the boats there. But what I found in the three-player playthrough, and if you're watching this and you want any strategy tips for the game, if you've got a public boat with two scoring tiles on it and you know you're not going to win it, you need to think about what the other player is going to put on. And that's what I was doing in this game. Uh, or I was, at least I was trying to. If, if another player is going to choose which scoring tile is used on the boat, then you can react to that and you can try doing that thing as well. So yeah, nobody's saying that I got any of the scoring things wrong. So thank you very much for, for joining me in this playthrough and for pointing out the couple of bits that I missed. As I say, right at the start, I definitely forgot to do this. When you go to the parlour, you have to pay a coin to increase your spirits by one. Definitely forgot to do that at the end of the game. But other than that, we are we are done. So yeah, big thank you to everybody for watching. As I mentioned, if you are in a position to be able to support me on Patreon uh, and help make more playthroughs like this, then you can do so at patreon.com forward slash gaming rules. We are looking for the magic 800 number. I'm just going to check. Um, we have had a new patron supporter 15 minutes ago. Uh, Andre has joined the Patreon channel. So we are now at 800 Patreon supporters. We're not going to stop there. I'm not saying don't support me just because I've now reached 800. Uh, but yeah, we have reached 800 supporters again. So I've got lots of lots of cool and exciting things planned for the channel. Um, but we're done. So yeah, thank you very much again to Mo Ideas for joining us in the chat uh, and supporting the channel. Because um, one of my patrons has won a copy of this game. Uh, Dennis won my... I, I did a contest for patrons to, to win, a, win a copy of it. And, and Dennis won. Yeah, we're all done. Fantastic. Thank you very much for watching. I will be back later tonight, 7 o'clock GMT, with a solo game of Australia, if you're interested in seeing that. Um, but for now, we are all done here. Thank you very much for watching. Take care. Don't forget to give the video a like, and I'll speak to you all soon. Cheers, everyone. <laughs>